We've imported them all the way from USA just for this event. And this thing alone can give you 19 horsepower. This is Niranjan's Octavia VRS. The VRS badge has been on the forefront of the Indian tuning scene since the Mark 1 Octavia has come out in India. The engine found in these cars are usually very tunable and can be modded to insane levels. This car is basically the fastest car we have in this year's car lineup for us. Niranjan has spent around 5 to 6 lakh rupees on getting the best bits and bobs for the VRS in order to make this into a proper rocket ship with power figures well over 300 horsepower. So now we've gotten the car inside and these are all of the modifications that we're going to do to the car to give us the slightest of slightest advantage over our competitors. So let's start off with one of the most special components that we have. Over here, we have the eventually cold air intake and this is first of all the prettiest air intake I've seen. It has red carbon uh, pattern inside it and this thing alone can give you 19 horsepower and it is one of the best airflow intakes in the business and in fact this is one of the first eventually intakes to go in a VRS inside India. So this is a very special component. So of course to produce even more horsepower we've gone with a downpipe setup as well. So we've gotten the downpipe made by Automec in Mumbai. It's a completely stainless steel setup and and to give us even more advantage, we've gotten a MagnaFlow race cat. The race cat helps keep good airflow and pressure inside the downpipe. And of course, this will give us a huge power advantage over our competitors. And this is also a very important part in terms of power gains. If you like our design and you want to look as fly as us at the Valley Run, you can check out our designs, other people's designs, the throttle stores, their own designs on keychains, mugs, masks, t-shirts, anything you piston heads fancy at www.throttlestore.co.in www.throttlestore.co.in so now these two things over here, they're also very important. Uh, they might just look like rubber and not be as beautiful looking as the downpipe and the eventually intake, but this is also a very important thing. So this is a polyurethane engine mount, which helps reduce the longitudinal movement of the engine. So when the car is under pressure, the engine usually moves back. So this helps reduce it which increases throttle response and also it removes a lot of lag from the throttle. So this will help us get off of the line better with better throttle response and of course more stability. Now this thing over here, this is a polyurethane bushing for the suspension. So this is more of a lifetime kind of upgrade to your car. This is more stiffer and more uh, durable than the normal OE rubber bushings that you get from your manufacturer. And this also gets the car a little bit more stiffer. It helps put the power down a little bit better. And overall, it gives you a much better ride and a more precise handling car. So these are some very special set of wheels. We've imported them all the way from USA just for this event. And these are new speed RSE 10 18 inch cast alloy wheels and these are 9.1 kgs individually and these will help reduce a lot of unsprung mass from the car and of course we don't want a lot of weight on the uh, tires and wheels so that's why we've gotten some really lightweight wheels uh, but the thing is the current setup that the VRS is running which are some hand cooked tires and Momo 17 inch wheels they weigh around 20 kgs this thing weighs 9.1 kilograms and if you add it to this which are Michelin Pilot Sport 4s 235 sections for 18 inch uh, rims these weigh another 11 kilograms approximately so 
Com uh, combine these two, we're again at 20 kilograms, but the biggest advantage is we have a wider uh, contact area and we get more grip. Less weight with the wheels, so we st we're getting more grip, a bigger tire, bigger wheels without added weight. So that's a big bonus for us. So for the suspension setup, we've gotten a pretty classic setup. So over here we have Bilstein B12 Pro shock absorbers and we have an IBAC lowering kit. So these two things go hand in hand so they work pretty damn well. So the Bilstein B12 Pro shock absorbers, they're a very important thing in this setup because uh, when a shock absorber is moving down the road on a bumpy road for example, the up and down movement of it creates a lot of heat in the shock absorber. So that gives you inconsistent uh, movement inside the absorber. Uh, but this thing does not get affected by the heat at all when it comes to that. So this will give us consistent performance and also stiffer ride, so better corning handling. Uh, you'll get better stability and it will help us put the power down even better. Now, the second part about this setup are these IBAC lowering springs. So these will help us reduce the drag resistance and also give us a lower center of gravity. So that will of course help us be a little bit more quicker through the air. And these will reduce 15 mm in the front and 10 mm in the back. So that is also a very important thing. And now let's start putting all of these onto the car. We just removed the old downpipe and fit in the new one and this is how the old one looks. It is first of all very heavy compared to the newer one and I mean the newer one is going to be an amazing uh, upgrade over this one. It's quite rusty as you can see but this is still a pretty decent downpipe because it's still a VRS with a 2 litre TSI. Pretty efficient but the newer one is going to make a hell of a difference. Now we're currently... Oh god! Now we're currently in the process of removing the old air intake or the air box uh, is what I should say and we're fitting the eventually carbon fiber intake. That is quite a bit of a process because we have to find a uh, inlet for the uh, air intake but we're trying to figure something out. So we just opened up uh, the engine bay a little bit more and we got a few more components here and there out and we're changing the igniter coils and the spark plugs as you can see this is the older one uh, this is the stock igniter coil and the stock spark plug uh, this is the new one the APR igniter coil and the spark plug from uh, Iridium Denso Iridium uh, visually there aren't a lot of differences I mean this is a little bit grey and this is a little bit black but Apparently, this is do, supposed to do a lot of difference in terms of uh, consistent power and uh, reducing the amount of lag in the engine. So, pretty important and we're now putting in this new component as well. So yeah, let's start fitting this in.
Captain Niranjan adds the stage to performance tune for the VRS 230. We're expecting this car to produce around 330 horsepower, which is a massive number for a front-wheel drive vehicle. With the PS4 tires and the 18-inch rims clawing their way into the ground to get some sort of grip, we're expecting this car to run in the low 14s or the high 13s, which is a very impressive number again for a front-wheel drive vehicle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you liked this video and learned something new from this. Subscribe to our channel, check out Auto Disip Performance on Instagram, check out Throttle Store on Instagram and check out Demotic Media and Nico Helmets on Instagram as well. Subscribe to our channel, like this video and if you found this video very interesting, share it with your friends. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.